Greetings, YouTube. So the alt-right is ever-present and at it again. The clean cut, work in secret, appear reasonable, don't use memes. One person last February invited members to help build a National College Republicans Discord server, which we run by Identity Europa members who are told not to use overtly alt-right usernames or profile pics. Some members said they were either current lawyers or planned to attend law school in an effort to provide legal support to the group, while at least a dozen people said they were current or formerly in the military. One member asked, what are our long-range goals other than taking over the GOP and spreading white identity? What is the end goal for IE? Uh, Unicorn Ride is releasing more than 770,000 messages from chats, chat servers associated with identity, identity um, Europa. This is uh, first reported in a series about this large U.S.-based neo-Nazi organization. Um, leaked Discord chats show plan by alt-right to infiltrate local GOP, and chats outline plot to keep Steve King elected. Um, and the, they're spelling Europa with a V instead of a, uh, a U because apparently... They'd like to hearken back to the age of the Romans because they love to hearken back to the ancient world and to show that as the peak white person um, uh, history. What's intriguing is that <clears throat> there was a time in America where Italians, Italians uh, were considered white. And yet they're always hearkening back to the Roman era. Are they aware that the Roman era took place primarily on the Italian peninsula? <laughs> did they did they make that connection? You know that little boot sticking out into the Mediterranean? Same land. Rome is it's in that little boot. Italians are from that little boot. Um, and yes, I'm making a little boot joke about Caligula. Um, so. The alt-right is trying to lay down a plan to infiltrate the GOP, the military, and our legal system in an effort to normalize and further the causes of white supremacist uh, ideology. They want the white identity politics to be pushed forward further and further into mainstream America. They're trying to do everything they can to get as large a foothold because they know that the demographic superiority of white po the, our white population is dwindling. And that sometime around 2040, there will no longer be half the country as white. We will fall below that percentage. And I say we because I'm the whitest white boy that ever walked out of white town. And with any luck, I'll still be here in 2040. Um... And I'm looking forward to the point where we no longer have the demographic majority, when America becomes a majority-minority nation. Because that means we'll hopefully begin to see a lot fewer white faces in a lot more places. Because white people have been in not just demographic superiority in America for a very long time, but of course, because of the, the political power of white supremacy, they have been in a much higher percentage than is the current demographic numbers. For example, um, there are more white men and white women in Congress than the percentage of America is white. Not to mention there's way more white men than there should be of white women. There should be far more white women. There should be more, more, more women in Congress. Um, in fact, I would be real happy if there were all women. I mean, we had all men for a real long time. Let's try all women for a, for a bit. See how that works out. Um, I think I'd be okay with that. I'd be okay with an entirely uh, feminine Supreme Court. We had an entirely masculine Supreme Court for a really long time. Nobody batted an eye at that. So let's try an entirely feminine Supreme Court. Let's, let's try a president and a vice president. Those terms don't have a gender. Um, so how about a feminine president and a feminine vice president? Um... And just to really get under the skin of the uh, of of all the del little delicate snowflakes in the socially conservative crowd, let's make them lesbians. Um, so the alt right is attempting to infiltrate and establish a base of power that will be harder to remove than just getting people voted out of office, because there is some 
flexibility there. You know, they could just lose an election because it's discovered that their candidate is, in fact, a horrible human being because they're a member of the alt-right and they're white supremacists. Um, so there's a possibility that even white people won't vote for them. I know that's considered a very strange concept to the white supremacists. They can never quite fathom why white people don't support them. Probably because they're screaming racists and bigots. But, you know, if someone were able to see the subtle nuances of why people don't like white supremacy, they probably wouldn't be white supremacists. Um, and, of course, this is all based on fear. They don't want to be minorities because they know how minorities are treated in America. They know how Americans handle minority groups, legally, socially, politically, and economically. And they really don't want to fall into that category. Now, what I think is going to happen is that we're going to end up in an apartheid situation where the dwindling population of white people is still going to be able to hold a grasp uh, on power simply because they have done what this identity Europa group is suggesting by putting themselves into positions of power that will mean that they will have far more influence than demographically they will represent in, amongst the population. Um, and for all those out there who think that, you know, diversity in media, in books, in comics, in, in TV, in films, and, and everything else is somehow not realistic, have you ever actually looked at the world? You know that white people are the minority, right? Globally, that that we're in the minority and that minority is shrinking and that there are more brown people, there have always been more brown people than there are white people. And how about we set up a system where everyone has human rights and civil liberties, where the color of their skin doesn't matter. But of course, it does to the white people out there who want to be members of Identity Europa. Because if there's a group more desperate to have identity politics, it's these jokers. It's always been about identity politics. And when someone complains about identity politics, look at theirs. Because they're the ones that are projecting and just assuming that everyone else is doing the exact same thing they are. These asshats are dangerous, and we need to root them out, we need to identify them, we need to shine the light in on their little fetid, vile corners of the world, and not let them hide, not let them infiltrate. Because the greatest danger to the world is social conservatism. And in America, social conservatism is espoused most fervently by white folks. So let's take their power away. Let's take their anonymity away. Let's show the world who they are so we can judge them on their character and not just their skin.